Uh, item three there, Tony Lazarovich from the DOT will be here next week at 11. And then possibly Mike Kruger might be with him to review and sign the <coughs> pre-construction agreement and also the N14 TJ agreement. Um, <coughs> this, this change in weather is definitely going to affect whether or not they get new Highway 20 open, open in Calhoun and Webster County. And it's going to create a mess for some of those gravel roads that they tore up <coughs> to get done. Uh, until it dries up <coughs> or freezes up, they're probably not going to be able to do a whole lot with them. Hopefully they get some time to get some work done on them and get them rocks so they can somehow have to get them back open for winter. Where does that put us then for the gravel roads that we have closed on both sides? Well, that's what I was talking about is they're going to have to somehow level them off good enough on either as it freezes or when it freezes. Uh, of course, they, they can probably move a little bit of dirt, you know, when it's freezing overnight, but yet not freezing deep enough that they can't uh, do some fill and compaction. And that's all going to depend on what the weather does, of course, because it's got to get dry enough to get for them to, to work. So, the, they're from 230th there. Uh, we've got two of them closed now. Yeah. That's, that's why I was asking. I mean, somehow they're going to have to get them back open. Or at least one of them. Well, sometimes I, mean, I feel the way I can find my way in. <laughs> the east-west roads up that way. Because of snow. Yep. Well, they're supposed to have them back open through the winter. Now, how good a shape they'll have them in. I mean, especially the, where they just started grading on them. <clears throat> they'll have to put some kind of temporary surface in there. But they probably won't do that until it freezes, because otherwise they'll just push it all down in the mud. Uh, yeah. um, one, one of those that is closed um, by the turkey buildings there of, of uh, all ourselves at Mookie, um, there's a east-west intersection uh, to, the, to the south of those turkey buildings, mm -hmm. you know where, and, it, and the intersection's right at the bottom of the hill, and the, I've had some contact from neighbors there, the, the, they're with the hog facilities and the turkey facilities, there's an awful lot of truck traffic um, going to both of those. And the the incline from the south towards Don Bartles is a gradual one, but the one from the north is just like that. And they're coming over that uh, from the north, and, it, and it's pretty dangerous to enter um, that intersection because it's if you've got a slow moving <coughs> vehicle of any kind, uh, they're just on them right now and, and uh, they're thinking that it's a safety concern. And if, if you look at the, the difference of the incline of the north-south road there towards Don Bartles, that one's pretty gradual, but the one from the north, isn't that, that comes right down and um, I think we need to consider something yeah. and it's, it's not such a big deal right now because it's closed because so you don't have that traffic coming yeah. from the north but um, now with with a whole lot more activity with those buildings there um, the entering the intersection from the east or the west and traffic coming back from the north is not a good thing yeah imagine part of the truck traffic you're talking about is both Construction traffic. And oh, yeah, just just everything, and, and <coughs> a lot. The the animals, you know, as they get bigger, uh, increase the frequency and need yeah. of, of the truck yeah. traffic. And uh, it, right now, because of the construction, you don't have anything coming from the north because they can't right. get there. But right. in the future, and actually before, <coughs> it it will be something that I think we should consider. Uh, well, yeah, new twenty will definitely change from driving. Some traffic counts on, on some of those roads. <laughs> the the it's it's just the the entering of, of probably slower traffic that's that's the biggest concern. Um, I don't know if you would consider like a just an intersection sign at the top of the hill or I I don't know. I mean I just want you to think yeah, about it. Yeah. Um, I think it's a legitimate. 
a legitimate thought because there's and then, and when that when that is reopened it'll be more of a concern. So it's it's not an immediate deal but I I guess I'd like to have it look at it, maybe or consider putting something there. So you stop saying over the top of that hill right there, or Well I I think if if a person would just maybe put the put an intersection, a crossing intersection sign at the top and so the people coming from the north realize that there's something that they will, that they will have cross traffic or entering traffic at the bottom yeah. that would be satisfactory. I, I, I mean, I don't really think we need to stop them, um, but just a heads up type of thing would be Um, moving on, item four. Then uh, review and approve final voucher, pay voucher for M50 asphalt overlay project FMCO 81 parent 60 to Manass. 1.364 million for this project was funded from the Park Market <coughs> Fund. Um, this is for CM50 in the, in the did, grant. City. Did that get completed? Completed. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. I haven't been on it yet, but they did a good job. I haven't been down. And they did a good job on Grant. I've driven that. I don't think I've been down on Grant since it got done. But, uh, but, uh, it was, <coughs> this project's the one that, that uh, there was quite a bit of competition for, with asphalt contractors later in the summer, so we got you know, a good price on it. <coughs> we come in. And I owe four hundred thousand in the way they budgeted, so that's good. Don't pay for one road grade. <laughs> well, I can't buy road grade without a far market. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we need a motion to have the chairman sign. I'll make the motion to have the chairman sign the uh, right here. M fifty asphalt overlay uh, contract. Pay voucher. Pay voucher. I'll second that. Motion has been made and seconded to approve the pay voucher on the M50 asphalt overlay project. All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, Rogers approved. We did get a uh, uh, notice, I think it was last week, uh, that, uh, <coughs> well, they always uh, submit projects for smoothness <coughs> awards. And uh, our project uh, did get some of this work from the Asphalt Association oh, really? for the project. We paid, uh, I mean, it was both good and bad when you spec uh, smoothness in there. First of all, it, we do that because we think we get a lot better ride in it, and you don't get that pounding if it's smooth. I think we paid about $20,000 extra on this one for smoothness, for meeting the smoothness spec. But uh, then for the size, <laughs> they, they break it up into different type of projects, whether it's a DOT or whether it's a city project or a <coughs> county project, and, and I think they break it up into different sizes, so they give about, I don't know, six or eight different awards for smoothness. <laughs> but we, we got one in the rural category, and they'll hand out a little plaque that they're meeting when they have it in December, I think it is. So, 